Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. It's Minato here, and today we're going to be taking a look at SDR Super Saiyan God Vegeta on a 200% leader skill. So, yes, this is in fully easy aid. He is under the Gifted Warriors and the Vegeta's family parts of the Smaja Vegeta's 200% leader skill. So I think it's good to go ahead and show him, see how good he looks, how powerful he is, and stuff like that. So we all know the God of Vegeta. The one issue with him is he has the high chance to guard. It's not guaranteed. If you do get the guard off, that's really good. But before the 200% leader skills, if you did not get the guard off, then he could potentially take a lot of damage because his defense was solid. But I wouldn't say it was anything special, right? That's the issue. But now with the huge stat increase that he'll get, it, it may make a really huge difference, so we're gonna have to see. Uh, first, we're gonna show him on the Vegeta's again. Well, it's gonna be the same team both times. We're gonna take him here to a, like a legendary event, kind of go a few turns, stack him up a little, um, and just kind of see an overall look at how he does. Actually, I think I'm going to take. Um, I might take. Nah, I'll keep it as because you can bring transforming Vegeta. And Transform Vegeta also does share a lot of things with them, but I think I'll keep things as they are. Well, I might take you off, because I, I was running him just for the links. But I think it's like, you're not really going to run him in difficult content anyways, right? So I'll just take him off. Uh, last minute change, yeah, but I'll put Transforming Vegeta here. Just when he goes God, he shares like six links with them. And then as blue, he shares five links still. So will be a pretty good look for him. Next, we're going to go into the ultimate red zone. We're just going to kind of see how he looks like in the red zone. You know, um, I have to bring the Gohan and then the Trunks because we need a Trunks on the team badly for Maja Vegeta, right? So that's going to be a rotation. Then the other rotation could be him and Maja Vegeta or him and the Blue Vegeta. Now, him and Maja Vegeta do share four links. And then maybe you can get the God links from Blue Vegeta at the end. I don't know. We'll see how things turn out. But let's take a look at him in this team and see how he looks. Alright, we are here, so ideally I would want to put him in the middle, we'll get almost everything active, but we do need to put him in the first slot, just so we can get an extra attack, so he does share, okay, so he'll get prodigies, yeah, he'll get, I think that's prodigies, right, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check that, yeah, there's a prodigies link, so he can get that, or he can get sane warrior race, so I think I'll stick with prodigies for now. But he will also be able to get over in a flash and balls. This guy, yeah. So the blue evolution, the blue Vegeta right here will give him more linkage. So we'll do that. So again, God Vegeta needs to get attacked, and then he'll get attack and defense plus seventy percent. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't used him in a while actually. Yeah, he gets seventy-seven percent attack and defense when he gets attacked. He has one fifty percent at the start of turn. He starts off at one hundred fifty k defense. He doesn't have any. Other super attack effect that raises his defense is only a uh, greatly stack attack for the rest of the fight, right? Let's see. Will you have your guard active? No guard active, that's unfortunate. Let's see how hard he hits, though. Yeah, starting off at 5.3 million without support, that's pretty good. Um, I definitely will take that. Now, the one thing I wish that God Vegeta had is I wish that his passive would last for longer. Five turns instead of three turns would make such a huge difference. Because you have to consistently keep getting that hit, right? Uh, over and over, and it could be a little annoying, right? Um, we'll get this with you. Let's try not to do too much damage this turn. Just so we could have a lot with the God Vegeta next turn. Because we will have the 40% support from the, um, that Xeno Super Saiyan Vegeta. Which, you know, will obviously give him a pretty nice boost. Because based on how his passive works, since he has that 77% multiplicative boost... The extra 40% support that he will get from the Xeno Vegeta will mean quite a lot to him. A very, very good amount to him, right? So that's going to be very important to see. Alright. And yeah, Gohan, I didn't really want you to do that, but that's fine. So keep in mind, God Vegeta can also get three attacks in a turn. So yes, including hidden potential. He does have the option to get um, a medium chance to do an additional super attack. Then on top of that, he could do his hidden potential super attack. So he could triple super during the turn. Now, let's see what his defense is here. Wow, okay. 300k without guard, huh? I mean, it depends. If if he gets the guard, that's really good. And even if he doesn't get the guard, that's still sustainable defense. Even for a lot portions in the red zone, right? 
And I feel like this Xeno Vegeta is definitely a unit you can run in the red zone. Because he greatly stacks his defense. And look at that. He's starting off at 200k right there. So that God Vegeta is pretty good. No guard here, unfortunately. But oh my goodness. He jumps up a lot. Like I said, that 40% support definitely means quite a lot to him. So he's jumped up all the way to 6.7 and then 7.2, man. Because he can triple super. No matter what, this Vegeta's numbers are looking a lot more impressive on 200%. Who could have told who could have told you that, right? But still, that's a very, very good thing to see from him, that's for sure. I'm gonna push this guy off rotation. Uh so we can have the God Vegeta come on around him. And once we see that rotation with God Vegeta, I think I'll wrap things up from there. Um maybe I should try and finish this guy off, I think. I think I will try to finish this guy off. Um yeah, just so that we could have a nice big health bar for the other uh for when we get back to the God Vegeta on the rotation. I don't know if we're going to be able to because these are like 55% Maja Vegeta's, but we'll see, right? In worst case scenario, we'll just, um, we'll just have to, uh, wait and see, but this, is, this Vegeta doesn't really, like, tank that well, right? I guess you could say. He is taking a good amount of damage. We, we, we would need, like, a crit or something from this Vegeta at the end, huh? Yeah, I definitely would need a crit or something, and even that, I don't know if he would kill. But that's fine. It's not the big deal. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, okay, we got the um, transformation of Blue Vegeta right in turn 4. Okay, that's fine. That's cool, cool, cool. Uh, doesn't really change his link set, so not many, not really an issue for him. We can get Sane Warrior Race if we put him in there, but again, he has to get hit. And either, there, either way, this guy would probably finish him off, too. One issue with him is key, I feel like, because um, he has over in a flash. Well, again, most of these Vegetas do have prepared battle. Now, it's good that for Maj Vegeta, because Maj Vegeta does have the... Um, the Overton Flash Link over prepared for battle too, right? But still. Okay, so actually maybe I should keep this guy. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to reset. I'm going to keep this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan actually. I think it will be good to see this list. Because you might not always be able to have God Vegeta with the Roman Gods cat, like units, right? The, although this Blue Evolution Vegeta is good, there's not really too many other really great Roman Gods units. Not, a, well, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue units on the Vegeta's family team. Because there's, the ones that you can link with it are the other Blue Vegetas and then God Trunks. But you have to specialize God Trunks, right? Um, So we'll do this right here. Let's see how hard he gets. He has a 35% support, but he does not have, like, you know, God, the power, even prodigies or fierce battles, stuff like that, right? Okay, yeah, so he's doing 5.7. Now, keep in mind, he has gone three great uh, attack stacks. Over the time of this, you know, event again in the long event, he stacks attack permanently, goes on and on and on and on. So he will just permanently get stronger in these longer events, which is really good for him. Um, I think I'm just gonna miss supers. I think yeah, we'll just miss super attacks with you. I have to get one with him, but that's fine. So next turn we will have the Super Saiyan God transforming Vegeta. Then we're gonna have the physical um Super Saiyan to Gohan now. You'll be able to get all seven links active because the only link that the two God of Vegeta's will not share would be that Sane Warrior Race link, right? Which, that, as we saw, that Gohan does have the Sane Warrior Race link. So because of that, I think he will be pretty, pretty good there, right? Um, I mean, to read off his link set, Sane Warrior Race, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, Over and Flash and First Battle. Uh, it's a pretty good link set. I would still... Probably prefer him to have prepared for battle over like prodigies or Saiyan warrior race just for the consistency there Maybe even royal lineage uh, this super saiyan god vegeta the transforming one He has royal lineage over Saiyan warrior race that might have been just a better, better link for him, but Okay, here we are. Uh, I'm going to use this right here just so we make sure we don't really get Dead or anything. So all 10 links active. He has 305k defense so he has less defense this turn simply because God Vegeta doesn't really get defense from Lynx, right? If at all. No, he literally has no defense from Lynx, so Lynx doesn't matter. The only thing that matters would be the support. Um, So, yeah. And he will definitely hit harder this turn, though, just because he does have some extra Lynx active. All seven Lynx active, obviously. Um, Let's see, God Vegeta. You have 300k defense. He has a, still a 50% chance to guard. Although, not, can, like, not like something you'll see all the time. It's something you can kind of hope to get at the very least. I just wish that in the future they fix these high chance guard units where 
we at least know at the start of turn if they guard or not, right? Yeah, oh my god, 9.6 already, dude? He He's going up really quickly. Dude, again, he could triple super attack, dude. He could triple super. And there's a second one, 10 million. Wow. Uh, dude, I'm actually, like, blown away, kind of, because... Like, I've seen him get, like, high numbers, like, 7, 8 million on before. But, like, this is, like, a huge jump for him, right? That's probably, like, his best rotation we'll see in the video, right? Uh, specialized for him, but still. Whenever that transforming Vegeta gets an easy A will be crazy. And even after Vegeta goes blue, the only link he loses would be over in a flash with him. So, again, if you have, like, supports running around, even though they won't technically share key links. Uh, God Vegeta does still give himself 3 key, I believe, at the start of turn. Which is very good for him, right? Um, I mean, we could take a look here. God Vegeta does, in fact, I believe, give himself three key at the starter turn, which is very helpful, just in case he doesn't share key links. And if you have another, like, floating prepare for bounty or anything like that, that could really be useful. But okay, enough of the child's play. Let's go to the red zone and see if he really looks more impressive there. All right, we are here, and we're gonna take him against Omega Shenron now. Let's see, so Omega's first phase isn't necessarily that difficult. The annoying thing about him is that he could lock your rotations and stuff like that. So that's why I did end up bringing these Sensu Beans, or the Dendes actually. Uh, as long as he doesn't lock my rotation right here, we'll be good. Okay, of course he does that. And he, no, okay. No. <laughs> We're just going to say no to that. What about that? Okay. Put him in the first slot here. He does get most of his links. Everything but Saiyan Warrior Race, Godly Power, and over in a flash. He has the 40% support. The first attack may do some damage to him, but especially if he's guarding, he will not really take much attack, even from a super. And he will dish a lot back, that's for sure. So, he is guarding. Perfect. Okay. God, Vegeta, show us what you got here. Yeah, starting off at 6.2 million. Let us see a triple super attack, buddy. Let's see what you got here. I think, dude, it's a huge difference between if he guards or not. Because right here, he does have the 300k defense we saw previously. So, he did not really do any triple super attacks, but that's fine. He's next to this Bujita, and he does awaken a lot of power in this guy. Look at him. 5 million right here. Pretty strong. And then, um, that, that's the importance of these, uh, the Xeno Vegeta right there. He definitely does give a lot to these units, right? 40% support is nothing to mock at. Nothing to be laughed at at all, right? Alright. And he did lower this guy's attack, so that's good. Um... Okay, just don't lock me again, please. Okay, you lock Gohan, that's fine. Oh, you just sealed Gohan, that's actually kind of annoying. Whatever, you can, you, it is what it is, right? We'll get this with you. Yeah, sealing Gohan is annoying, Um, but we should be okay. I'll just grab this with you, whatever. This gets you a super attack, right? Gohan's already tanking, though, so that's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love Gohan, dude. So good. That could have been an additional super. Man, he really sealed him. It's better that he sealed him rather than Trunks, though. Just because um, Trunks needs a super, right? For his extra defense on his super attack effect. That's really important for him, especially at 55% here. Um, he really would need that. Okay, Trunks, only get one attack, sure. Loser. Okay. <laughs> we'll see another rotation here of the God Vegeta, though. That's pretty cool. And even if we do get Mod Vegeta locked in the first slot, I think that'll, that'll be okay. Okay. He locked... Yeah, he locked him in the first slot. That's fine. We'll get a lot of things things active. Mod Vegeta right here can um, tank pretty well in the first slot here. So he's still at 260k defense. I wouldn't say that defense is anything spectacular, considering he doesn't have any raise on super attack. But I will definitely take it. He should have enough to tank normals from, like, um... This Omega, I mean, this Sin Shenron, probably the second phase Omega Shenron, I think he would be able to take normals. And it really depends on if he gets his guard or not. Uh, if he gets his guard active, he will for sure, even even against the um the last phase of Omega Shenron, he'd be able to tank if he does get his guard active. Which is a very important thing to realize. Um, okay, perfect. Give me another triple super attack. What about that? Come on, let's see. No, no, okay. He got the guard again, though. High chance right there. Perfect. This guy hasn't even been supering me, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay. That's cool. Alright. We got the support memory, but it doesn't really mean much. We'll get this with Gohan. We'll get this with you. The good thing about this Dino Vegeta here is that he does support the Strunk, so that's going to be really good for us. We'll get that again. We can still get the um, 
six orbs next turn for the mod Vegeta, which is good. Yeah, Omega uh, since runs his uh, attack debuff wore off, but that's fine. Because now we can start at least stacking here with this guy. It's so annoying when he like debuffs me like that. Like, oh, or not? Well, when he locks me, it's more so annoying. Like you know, seals and then uh, stunt like locks me like that. But if he do, if he gets like attack or defense lowering, it's not the big a deal. Unless he does it to the Trunks right here, then Trunks will probably take a lot of damage. I feel like right, but at the very least we have the Sensus, so that's okay. Trunks is still taking double digits from there. That's good. Okay, now we can lower his attack. This guy just hasn't been supering. If even if he supers this Vegeta, I think it'll be okay. Just so because we lower his attack and this Vegeta got another stack here. No, okay, he just doesn't want to super me. That's kind of odd, but okay. Uh, we'll probably keep this guy. This is the Rainbow Mod of Vegeta. Ah, oh, six orbs. Are you kidding me? It's so annoying. <sighs> of course. All right. Oh, well. This is what happens when you don't run it. Like, sometimes you can't run an orb changer. Are you... Okay, there it is. There's six orbs for him, at least. We'll keep the Rainbow one in the front. He's just still tank okay, right? Pretty... I, I don't think he would take anything from normals. But a super... The super will do some damage to him. Especially because he hasn't gotten his, like, on super attack, defense, and stuff like that, right? Oh, Mazda Vegeta, man. At least he's still taking from normals. That That's that's the good thing at the very least, right? But, man, you really need an orb changer next to this guy. Badly. Like, just the trunks is not enough, dude. That's that's the thing I was saying. Um, But at least he still took that pretty well from a red zone boss enemy. And he, especially considering he did get debuffed, I'm very glad to see that he took no damage from normals, but... Okay, yeah, this Vegeta's passive war, you see, because he's at uh, 3.2 now. He needs to get attacked at least once to get his full passive again. Um, And even if he triple supers, it won't be that much. Yeah, look, that's a lot of damage, and that's the that's the dangerous thing about him. Um, If he does, like, he has to take that one attack, and if he's not guarding, when he takes that one attack in, like, the last phase, he will take a lot of damage, like, a lot of damage, dude. Is he locking Trunks out? I think I'll just heal, I think. Um, I think I'm just going to heal. Just so we can have the heal active. We can get this as well. And then we should be able to finish off this turn. I should get this, actually. So we're going to super through. Yeah, we'll be able to finish off this turn. And at the very least, now, from now on, we won't have to worry about being locked. Um, and in case of a future heal, we do have the Dokkan attack coming up. So that's going to be pretty cool, right? This video is getting a little long. Oh my goodness, dude. Whew. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead until we see him against the STR Omega because this video is getting really long actually 17 minutes bro I don't want it to be long in like 25 at most right All right, here we are and this is what exactly what I want So the thing I was talking about Majin Vegeta to himself is that you probably would really want a slot one uniform regardless Even though you could be okay in slot one, right? You definitely want to get the um You want to get a super attack off of them, especially if you can't get the six orbs, so we're going to put God Vegeta in the first slot. We'll see what he does. I don't know if there's a way I can six swords with him still. I can right here. I'll, I'll grab these, actually. Just so we can bring down a lot of those orbs. Okay. Let's see what we do here. Um, he has 300k defense. 310k defense. Maybe he guards? No guard. And he's taking 80k. Oh, Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta. Dude, 300k and he's taking 80k from normals? He needs that guard, dude. Oh my goodness. That was the issue with him, is that we're dead here, yeah. I guess we're not getting into 25 minutes for sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Even 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 with if you don't get the guard active, man, he it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. Cause you could tell they designed him like the issue with a lot of these units that have like high chance to guard and stuff like that. Uh, most of the time, they design these units as if they always have the guard active, but they then give them like a high chance to guard or something like that. Or they design the units with their full passive active, but a lot of the times you may not get their full passive active. They only think of like their max situations, right? It's, it's weird, but it is the unfortunate truth. I think it's still a pretty good unit. You just need to really be careful with them in the red zone. Um... And he really needs that guard active, so you have to get lucky. But I think you could still tank him in there. I take him in there, and he'll still be fine. And at least most of the stages, Omega is obviously the hardest stage, like in terms of how hard he actually hits you on like normal attacks and stuff. Omega is the pinnacle. Um, but I think you know, if you take him into like you know the Janemba stage or the Bojack stage or something like that, 
Especially if he gets his guard active, you should be okay. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of God Vegeta. I still think he's pretty powerful. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.